My name is Shelly Hatton, and I'm from South Lake, Texas. And I'm demonstrating a uh, antique circular sock knitting machine. The two machines that I have here are approximately 75 to 100 years old, and um, they actually this they're, they're they are antiques. <laughs> and we we made these socks in 45 minutes. And some of you guys might be looking at this going, that's not a sock, <laughs> that's not a pair of socks. But I'll I'll go through the anatomy here. This is the cuff the leg, the heel, the foot, the toe. We put scrap yarn on it, which is what this is that I'm knitting with, and then we repeat the process. There's the cuff, the leg, the heel, the foot, the toe. And then what we do is we come over here and we, we sew those together. Now you can kind of see that toe, right? And if you look at your socks that you wear today, and I know everyone's wearing sandals, but if you if you go home and look at your, your socks, you actually have a, a seam right there. So the, the, it's the same technology that was invented 100 years ago that we're, we're still using it today. So let me kind of give you an idea of, of uh, what we've got here. This is a, a, a cylinder needle. Let me give you the anatomy of a cylinder needle. This is called the butt, this is the latch, and that's the hook, okay? And what happens here, and you're probably going to have to gather around here, but the, this cylinder, the needles all stay on one, pretty much on one plane, with the exception of in this area. I've got these little things in here called cams, and they're basically it's a fancy name for levers. And what these do is, if you look right here, that latch that you saw on the needle right there, uh, the knitting actually holds the latch in place. And you go, well, how the heck is that going to knit? Well, what that happens is the the, uh, the that lever that I told you about it lifts the needle up, and what that does is it actually frees that latch. You see that right there? And then what happens also is since that needle is raised, it allows that hook to hook the yarn and then as if you let me move this around so you can kind of see it but when it what happens is that loop that's still on that that needle it, it what it, it will do is it will help make that latch close and I'll go real slow so you can kind of see the so you can kind of see the and so it goes, so the needles are going up and then they're actually going down. And as that, let me move, and I'll move this a little closer to your, to your side. But if you look right here, it actually will loop down. You see, it's actually pulling down. And I, I can actually control how far it can, can pull that, that loop down. And so, and then once you do that, and then it comes back up and that's pretty much how it, it, it knits. So, and then you can go really fast. And then I can change the tension on this thing. And if you look at the squares on here, there's kind of, they're kind of rectangly. Now the rectangles are a little longer. And what, the reason why is because the loop, the loop is being pulled a little bit further, a little bit further down. Okay, now then, going back to that sock, <laughs> this part, the cuff and the leg, and the leg, that's knitted in the round. Okay, but then we have to get to, we got to go do the heel, right? The heel's not done in the round. The heel is actually done halfway. And let me show you what we do. I get, I move the the yarn carrier to the front and actually move take up half of these needles out of, out of, it's called moving the needles out of work. It's just this fancy way of saying I pull them up. <laughs> okay? And so, now what I do is I come down here and I'll, and I'm going to put this on. This is called a, this is just called a, uh, it puts, adds additional tension to it. And what I do is I take one needle out and then I switch directions. And I actually come over here 
oh, and I just dropped all my stuff. But that's easy to fix. And I did it probably because I don't have any, uh, any weight on it. Anyways, but that's, that's where I'm at. I gotta start all over. <laughs> Knitting. It's just like it is knitting, yeah. And again, they did this was this is 75 to 100 years old, and and you know the socks that are made today are still made very similarly. And what about these different Thank things you. here? Now those are cylinders, and what happens is I was going to get to that part, okay. but once you figure out how to knit the sock itself, and you've and you've got the heel and the toe down. What happens is you you go, okay, well now how do I size my socks? And this is what we do to size the socks. I have a 60 needle cylinder. If you look, these cylinders are all the same same size. They're four and a half, in, same diameter. They're four and a half inches in diameter. Yeah. And the difference though is we take, we take different, if you look at that, this has fewer slots than this one right, does. Right. This is a 54 needle cylinder. This is a 72 needle cylinder, okay? I've got two socks that I've netted on those. And let me give you an example. To kind of give you an example, this right here is, the, is a 54. This was knitted with a 54, and then this was knitted with a 72. Okay. Superimposing. Okay. Now you're not just limited to sizes based off of that. You can also use what's called a river. This right here is the river, and it's really, this is the river. And if okay. you're a knitter, the cylinder knits and the rib, river pearls, okay? And for non-knitters, okay, knitting just means that you got the nice part on the front, and you got all the bumpy parts on the back, okay? Purling just means that you're gonna put the bumps on the front. Okay. okay, and so what we do is, in order to do what's called a rib, oh, yeah. Like that. yeah, what we do is we have this, and you, and you see right here the stuff that's up top, that's what the cylinder knits, that's the knit. and then you have that groove, that yeah. valley, yeah. that's what the river will knit, and so that's called a one by one rib, okay, and that's what I've got over, set up over here, and the river, and you can turn it and you can see yeah. it, it does the same thing.